What's up, Turtle fans? I am the White Foot Soldier, and this is a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 movie Foot Soldier by NECA. Now, it feels like decades ago when it was announced that we were going to get the Foot Soldier to go along with the four turtles in the one fourth scale. Finally, it has arrived, and it is awesome. Uh, let's first have a look at the front of the box. We'll check out the box art overall, and then we'll open up the figure and see what he comes with. First, we can see that the box is very similar to the four turtles that were already released. Um, we get the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo at the bottom, um, this time obviously Foot Soldier. Uh, Nickelodeon down the bottom left, we get the nice window box. And now this box actually is skinnier, and it might be a little hard to tell in the video, but it's not as wide as the turtle boxes. Um, of course, the uh, Foot Soldier isn't as bulky as the turtle, so that makes sense. So we'll just look at the top there, we get the logo again, um, the Nickelodeon uh, logo, NECA, Real Toys. Uh, flip it over on the side and we get the similar um, artwork that we did on the turtles with the figure out of the box um, posed. And we'll check the other side and we get the same kind of thing there. And we turn it over in the back, we get the four turtles at the bottom and then you come up and we can see we get the foot soldier again out of the box. Um, and that pretty much um, is it, I think, for the box art. So let's open this guy up and see what he comes with. Okay, now that we have the foot soldier out of the packaging, let's have a look at the figure and then we'll have a look at the accessories. Um, right away, I mean, this thing is awesome. It looks like it could just walk away. It's so realistic looking. It looks just like the 1990 uh, foot soldier from the movie. Um, the features of it are, are great. I mean, I love how uh, the clothing part of it looks, you know, creased. Now it's obviously harder plastic, but it looks like it's creased. Um, up here and actually is a uh, rubber material. You can see it does bend a little bit on each shoulder. Uh, if we come down, the belt where it ties actually is rubbery. And then this is actually like a cloth material. Um, let me pull that closer to the camera. So it's hard to kind of tell, but this is actually, um, and I don't know, I don't want to take it off. It might, no, I don't know if it does, but you can hear it. It's kind of elastic cloth. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if we check out the um, guards, we can see some great detail, some uh, beautiful sculpt work on those. And those are actually rubber as well. And I'm not gonna pull it on too hard because I don't wanna snap them off. But those are rubber, so that adds a nice feature to it to where it's just not uh, solid plastic. Um, up at his bandana, we get uh, some material for the ties in the back. And now it's hard plastic the rest of the way around, but the head's actually sculpted. It's almost smooth. Um, the mask itself, and then with the big, you know, look almost bee-looking eyes. Um, yeah, so it's like I said, it's almost more smooth feeling than the rest of the uh, figure itself. We get some nice articulation there. Now these are insanely articulated, so I'm not going to have to um, run down through it all because you can just see. Uh, the joints in general, um, looking at the figure. Uh, if we come down to the legs, we can see some more uh, nice sculpted for um, the pants and the legs in general. We get kind of the ninja shoes uh, down at the bottom with the uh, toes there. Um, what else we got? That okay, pretty much covers it. There's a back look of the figure. Again, we get some cool um, sculpting there where it almost looks like, um, you know, it's not um, iron looking. It's wrinkled up. Uh, some neat, neat sculpt work that uh, just makes this figure even look more realistic. Um, so let me set this guy back. And if we have a look next at some of the accessories, some of the accessories actually uh, coincide not only with uh, the turtles, I should say, but just, you know, with the ninja in general, but with the turtles here, uh, we have the katana, we have a Sai, and notice they are painted uh, black. And then if we come down, we also have uh, some nunchucks. So we get one pair that's kind of plain looking, and then we get another pair that actually has little spikes on it. So that's kind of a cool touch. Um, and that one has the real chain. And the other one does not. It has more so like the rope in it. We also get a couple other accessories here. Now these are just, just like the uh, turtle accessories um, where it's kind of, you know, just all plastic going up and it has a, a cool um, looking uh, paint on it there. 
to make it look shiny and to make it look, you know, more realistic. So, uh, very nice weapons. It comes with a lot of accessories. We also get not one, not two, but three hand swaps. So when I say three hand swaps, I mean um, three three pairs. So one for each hand, two kind of closed fists, um, but you can see they're opened up enough to hold the weapons. We have ones that are a little more open. Now these obviously have the um, guards on them as well uh, with the cool designs, um, but those ones you had a little more open, some nice detailing with the fingernails. And then we also get a pair of hand swaps that are open. So open palms. And look at the detail on those. I mean, we get the um, separating kind of the knuckles. Uh, we get the um, kind of roughness of the skin and the crank or the uh, wrinkles of the hand. Uh, so those are really detailed. Same thing on the back. Um, just a lot of detail with this figure overall. Um, so if we uh, just take, if we look at the hands that are on there, actually, we can see they're a closed fist. So let me take one of these off and I'll put uh, one of the other ones on. And now we can see that the other hand swaps on and it has the open um, uh, open hand so that we can uh, get um, an accessory in there. So we have the ax in there now uh, and we can see that it, it does twist around pretty good, um, but it stops. So it's not like it, you know, too heavy to where you put it in and it just falls. So the hand swaps are very easy to pull in and out. Um, right there, you know, you can see what the figure looks like um, holding one of the weapons. And um, let me grab uh, actually one of the one four scale turtles and we'll set them beside each other and we'll compare the sizes next. Okay, here's a side by side comparison uh, with the foot soldier and Leonardo. Um, unfortunately, my turtles have been sitting on the shelf for a while. I haven't had much time to take them down and get any pictures or anything lately. Uh, so he's a little dusty. Um, but if you see the comparison, the side by side there, they are pretty much the same height. I mean, Leo's kind of leaning down so I'd say the foot soldier looks a little taller. Um, you know, he's kind of hunched over a little bit, Leo is. Uh, but if you actually straighten them up, you can see they are very similar in size. Obviously the turtle um, is more bulky, you know, more muscle definition and whatnot in the legs. Um, but overall, I mean, these, these, you know, of course they go along with the same line, but they do look good together. So um, I think the turtles were a little bit smaller than some of the foot soldiers. Um, it just kind of depended on which foot soldier. So it doesn't really bother me that they are, uh, you know, the, the same height or very similar in height. Um, but uh, so let's actually finish up. I know I said I'm not gonna go through all the articulation, but I'll at least show you uh, some of the articulation on the foot soldier um, because, you know, I know some of you wanna know, can you, you know, pose it a lot of different ways? Yes, you can, the short answer, uh, but I'll just show you some of the things real quick and then we'll wrap things up. So we'll just kind of run down through um, the articulation quick. Obviously in the shoulders, I don't have to do that. On um, the wrists, you can, or in the um, elbows, I mean, you can see uh, the wrist, same thing. And then uh, that's a whole piece, you know, connected there. I showed you the head earlier. It swivels around pretty good and can bend down pretty far. Um, and the head actually is, you know, pretty much a huge ball joint. Uh, going over, he does a twist. So his torso twists around, um, articulation in the hip. And then going on down, we can see um, in the knee, and then it also twists, let's see, I think it also twists around. I don't wanna actually snap it, but I think it, yeah, there we go. Oh no, that was the hip. Um, so you can just see the, uh, the articulation there in the knee, and I think that it does kind of swivel around. There's like a piece you can kind of tell. Um, I'm trying to get it, it's pretty tight, but it kind of, bends down so he can open up his knee. Um, so I guess in general there, you can see a good idea, but I think that that actually opens up a little bit more. You can kind of see where it is. Just pretty tight, I don't want to pull too hard. Um, but uh, then you go down and of course the ankles themselves are tight. <laughs> but the, the feet roll um, on like a ball joint there. Let me try the other side because that one's pretty tight. Um, but the feet do, they are in a ball. You can see on the ball joint, kind of on the bottom. Um, boy, they're very tight. Uh, back and forth in the ankle. I think that it swivels around, but it's very, there we go. Very tight. You can see it kind of just swivels around there. And I don't know if the ankles twist themselves. I said I don't want to snap it. Um, but I would think that the ankles do twist around. It's just really tight. Um, so like I said, uh, I'm not going to run through every little detail about it and uh, 
see if I can just get him posed in a different way. He's coming in for a bear hug. Um, but yeah, so there's the uh, Foot Soldier, one fourth scale by NECA. Uh, beautiful figure, awesome um, detail overall, great accessories, um, highly worth the price. Uh, and now obviously you buy the Foot Soldier, um, who comes next, Shredder. So I already have Shredder on pre-order. I will review him once I get him. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe for more TMNT news and reviews.